Hey guys, it is December and time for favorites. I am excited to talk to you about some favorites because December was a good month. There are a lot of things that I tried that were new um, and um, there were some things that I loved before that I went back to. So it's kind of a mix of those things, um, especially when we talk eyeshadow sticks. I gotta tell you all about that because they're the love of my life right about now. Um, first off, let me just get out of the way the non-makeup thing and this is so good. It's uh, Body Shop Shower Gel Strawberry. I have been loving this scent. It is fantastic. They make a bunch of different scents that are really, really good, but this is definitely my favorite. I love this stuff. It smells seriously strawberry -y. Um, <laughs> It's soap-free cleansing with strawberry seed oil and community fair trade honey. And I, I just love it. It makes leaves my skin nice and soft, um, and it's great stuff. Now, um, I had a smaller size, and I love that so much that when this went on sale, I went ahead and got, you know, they're having a lot of sales. I got this around this time of year last year. And um, so definitely check uh, the body shop because I think they sent me an email. They send emails all the time, but it was like 50% off, and I think that's when I got this. So there are a lot of different scents. Check for the smaller size, but if you really make Make out you can get one of these larger size half price and uh, this is 25.3 ounces so it's huge it will last forever we have an olive oil one for uh, my husband I got him that one um, that's in the shower and I have a couple other scents that I've used throughout the year because I put that order in last year but yeah check them out uh, when they have a sale it's a really really good sale my camera's doing something weird okay never mind ha! all right other stuff this is all makeup stuff uh, makeup you know associated stuff and this one oh, I put up a post on this I will link it below and I'm so irritated it, it's from it's Mac um, it's from the Mac Riri holiday collection and it like sold out so quickly um, it's the color pleasure bomb it's a matte shade so so gorgeous again I'll link the post below if you'd like to see it on my lips it's just a really, really pretty color. This is one of those colors that I just hope they re-release. I hope they, you know, have a whole bunch more available because it's been sold out since, like, what, day one? Uh, something like that. Um, yeah, it's so tough, you know, these limited edition releases. It is a matte. Um, I believe it's the Retro Matte Formula. I don't want to say it is. I, I think it's the Retro Matte Formula. Um, I love it. Um, there are a lot of MAC shades. You'll see in my post, if you look at my blog post, there are a lot of MAC shades that are similar, though, so it's not super, super unique. I just love it because I love fuchsia, but um, I list a bunch of different MAC shades in that post that are very similar. Uh, so it is uh, a favorite, though. MAC Pleasure Bomb. Really, really pretty. That Riri collection was really great. I missed, like, two of the lipsticks, but it was a great collection. I really liked it. All right, next. This really came in handy on um, my trip. Now, uh, being a Away for a couple weeks um, one of the issues is with my nails I didn't want to bring along and a lot of you can probably probably sympathize with this if you go away on a trip and you're gone for a while you don't really want to take nail polish remover with you just because what if it busts open you don't might not want to take it you know if you're using if you're putting your luggage on a plane you know and it's not under your supervision and that kind of thing these came in handy and I picked them up at Sephora they are Josie Moran's um, Bare Naked uh, Nail Wipes. These were a lifesaver. Now, the thing about this is there are 20 wipes in here, and I swear I used like 10 wipes <laughs> to take off my nail polish. Um, I had a black glittery polish on, so after the first week when I wanted to redo my nails, I think I used one per finger. Um, this is the Natural Peppermint Scent. Okay, so the thing about these, very convenient. It's in this container. They are wipes. Um, and they smell good. So you eliminate the whole, you know, um, problem of, you know, taking a liquid that could, you know, rupture and cause a really big mess, you know, with your clothes. And then the other thing about when you go away is a lot of times I don't like to remove my nail polish and, you know, the whole room smells like nail polish remover. So this is a really, really cool thing. And this was one of those things I picked up last minute in line at Sephora. I just love these because it was really, really nice to have something that smelled good um, to remove your nail polish. Now this probably would have worked better. I probably wouldn't have needed 10 if I didn't have such thick glittery polish on. I could see if you had like a cream color not needing one whole uh, wipe to do your nails. I bet with a cream color it would come off a lot faster, but I had something, you know, I had a base coat, two coats of glittery black nail polish, and a top coat. So 
that was an issue. But yeah, I, I, I really, really like these. These are going to be something that I take on um, trips from here on out because uh, I'll just save these. So there's another scent that I saw there. I don't know how many different scents, but I got this at Sephora. Um, the next thing I mentioned a couple videos ago, and it is the Tarte uh, Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment. Now, I went away from this. I'm always trying different eye creams. Some are sent to me. And um, I had finished reviewing an eye cream, and I went back to this. This is one that I got. The uh, I used the whole size before. It's been a favorite. I have a post on my blog of this Maracuja C. And I loved it. And I stopped using it. And I got this in the uh, Sephora Tarte Holiday Set. But anyway, I stopped using it. And I got one of these. I was excited. I started using it. And I've been using it for a couple weeks. Um, this is a really good sample size. And the change in my under eye area is amazing. So this is something I never need to be without. Um, I will go ahead and um, link the blog post for this under, you know, down below. I'll link them in order uh, that I discuss these things. But this is amazing. I mean, it was like night and day. It was like I wasn't using eye cream before, and all of a sudden I was. That's how much the um, I, this eye cream helps with the lightening your under eye area. It's amazing. This was so so cool. I I wore this in two videos and you guys um, really like this color and so do I. Um, I definitely have a post to this I'll link below. It's Wet Plum. It's by Estee Lauder and it's an amazing color. This color doesn't move and I heard that it didn't move and I was like, yeah, right, it's a gloss. It's a lip lacquer and it stays on perfectly all freaking day. I've never seen anything like it. It is the most longest lasting lip product that I've ever used, you know, that is like a gloss. Um, so there it is right there on top. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. I definitely need to investigate and see about getting another color. These are at Nordstrom. That's where I got mine. Really, really cool all day long. I don't know what, it's magic. I don't know what is in it, but it stays glossy. It looks Six hours, seven hours later, it looks like I just put it on. It's it's amazing. Um, check out that post if you want to see what it looks like on. This is another product that I found in the chopping, or I reviewed in the chopping block that I've been using, and it's been a lifesaver. Now, I do have combination skin. I have an oily T-zone that I tell you all about way too much. All right, but during the winter now, I get dryness. Dryness in my cheeks and in my chin around my mouth area. It's bad, Okay. This has been a lifesaver. It's It Cosmetics number 50 um, primer, anti-aging primer. This is amazing because I like to skip steps if I can. So what I like about this is it's two steps in one. I can use this as my moisturizer and primer. So I don't even need to do a moisturizer separately. I love that, okay? I can wash my face, put this on after. It's a really nice consistency and it just smooths in and my skin drinks it in. So it does have that moisturizing effect as well as helping you. That's what the product looks like on my hand once it focuses here, yeah. So one step, I get moisturizing and primer and it just slips into my skin. My skin sucks it up like there's no tomorrow and I get to skip, skip a step. So this was great to take along with me as well. Really, really good primer, pricey, but really, really good. I'll link the post for it to below. All right, let's talk eyeshadow sticks. I love eyeshadow sticks. I'm wearing like the MAC one they had at limited edition. I always put what I'm wearing below, so if you have any questions, you can check it out down there, what colors. Uh, but they had a limited edition collection for their summer collection. They had shadow sticks, and I thought they were great. There were four of them. Wonderful. Um, I wanted to tell you about some of my favorites. I have two high-end brands and two um, drugstore brands. At the drugstore, since I've tried everybody's shadow sticks, I'll tell you my two favorite brands, Milani and Rimmel. Milani has great pencils. Um, Theirs are called Shadow Eyes, and I love them. I have Almond Cream here. I just put up two posts about uh, the Natural Eyes Collection and the Holiday uh, Romance Collection, which I showed you in a recent, like last week's, um, drugstore haul video. This is Almond Cream. It's a matte. The Natural Eyes Collection is fantastic because there's so many mattes. This is a beautiful color, number 10, Almond Cream. These smooth on the eyes seamlessly and are fantastic. Rimmel is my other favorite. Rimmel Scandal Eyes. I have a post with all nine colors. This is my favorite color. It's called Blamed Blue. I will swatch it and you will be, it, it, the swatch will sell it right there. 
blamed blue is gorgeous it if you like teal this is like the perfect teal there's a purple there's a gray there's a bronze really really good colors from Rimmel but um, I just love those two brands and I've tried everybody's uh, shadow sticks so those are my favorite at the drugstore now an honorable mention goes to Jordana those are really really nice I do feel that Working, if you want to work really quickly, you can work with the other two a lot better. They just kind of go on a little bit smoother for me and aren't as thick going on. I have a little, Jordana, they go on a little bit thick. Um, I have to blend out more. So just from a lazy girl standpoint, I like Milani and uh, Scandalize from Rimmel best. All right, high end, my two favorites are Mally and Tarte. Uh, this Mally color is gunmetal. It's like one of my favorites. It's this really well, gunmetal says it all, right? It is just a beautiful silvery um, pewter color and it's just gorgeous. These stay put. All of these I use primer with because I just, my my lids, I, I, I think out of all of them, the one that I wouldn't have to use primer with, it might be Tarte. I feel like I've used it without primer before and it was fine. Um, and that's the color right here. Tarte uh, Rainforest Black is one of my favorites. It's a deep green, really cool. And there's a lot of different Tarte uh, shadow sticks that I use. One of my favorite colors ever is Fig. I use Fig. I use it like every day when I was away. Um, but anyway, this is the Rainforest Black. It's just a beautiful dark, dark green. Really, really dark green. Almost reminds me of Loaded from Urban Decay. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And there's so many really good tart colors. Love, love, love these. So I just thought I'd share that with you because I, I end up using shadow sticks on a day that I'm not, you know, taping with you guys. And like now with the uh, chopping block 10, I don't have any, I have only two eyeshadows in that. I do shadow sticks a lot of the time. So just wanted to tell you that. Okay, my regrets. First one, a lot of you told me this would be a regret. I did a vlog video and I showed this, um, me picking this up. I was so excited that I finally saw it. And what it is, is Wet n Wild's eye primer, the shimmer one. All right, this is just too much shimmer. I, when you say shimmer, I didn't know you meant some serious, serious shimmer. It's just out of control shimmer if you ask me, but. Um, that's just me. I will swatch it on my hand for you. I just wasn't ready for this. I just, there's, there's limited use out of this. That's why I think it's a regret because I can only do so much with this because of the fact that it is like serious shimmer. There it is. I mean, that would be great if it was like a shadow, you know, like a silvery kind of a shadow or something, but it, you know, as a base for eye looks, I just can't get into that. I, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot with that. The other regret that I have for the month of December is a gloss. And this gloss, I put it on and my it hurt. The tingle hurt. Moxies usually don't hurt. And moxies never hurt me. I have a ton of moxies from Bare Minerals and I like the tingle. Um, these hurt. This is Sexy uh, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. And it's just a little sample one, thank God, because I got this, I guess, in a Sephora order. I'm so glad. I just really, this does not work for me. It's Candy Gloss Lip Plumper. So yeah, it is a plumper, so I expected some tingling. But I didn't expect to need to take this off a couple minutes after using it. Um, the color was really pretty. It's kind of just, a, you know, a glaze uh, on your lips. But the tingle, it seriously hurt. It wasn't good stuff. I, I didn't feel good about it. I had to wash it off, which is huge, um, because usually I can withstand stuff. And, you know, just so I can give it a good review, uh, a good review based on, you know, some time wearing it. I couldn't tell you if that was good or bad because I had to take it off after less than 10 minutes. I was done. Uh, so, yeah, that, those are my two regrets. All right, guys, so I will talk to you very, very soon. Hopefully that was helpful. I hope you had a good holiday, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.